Um, I didn't love this so much. It was okay. It wasn't great. But uh, where is his name? Where, where can I copy paste it? Adrian Tchaikovsky. Yeah. Um, it's called uh, Children of Time. Um, time child. So I don't want to like spoil stuff, but like in the future, some like geneticist tries to like play God and um, evolve a civilization over the course of thousands of years. Mm -hmm. In the, this is like in the future where they've got magic space technology. Sure. And then in the middle of them trying to like create a new race of sentient monkeys. Um, there's like an intergalactic civil war that like wipes out human civilization. Okay. And then um, she like locks herself in a in a satellite that's going around the planet, and has put herself into stasis. And the the robot in the satellite is sending down like maths problems by radio wave to the planet. And then when she receives a response, it will like wake her up out of stasis after like thousands of years of these like okay. robot monkeys. Um, but something goes wrong and all the monkeys like burn up in orbit and the virus that was meant to like infect them and make them develop faster and improve their evolution much much quicker ends up like infesting like spiders and ants on the planet oh no <laughs> yeah. oh so she made bug man <laughs> yeah. fuck oh that actually sounds that sounds great that sounds really it's good. really good i recommend it that's only like the first chapter um okay. so i'm not spoiling much um but wow. I, I, I'm, I'm only halfway through, so maybe it gets worse. But so far, I'm super into it. Um, yeah. It's good. Planet of the Apes, but spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Does not sound as nice. <laughs> then a, um, like a, a colony ship from ruined post-Civil War Earth comes along. And um, the AI controlling the satellite is like, fuck off, do not interfere with my, yeah. my planet. And these people are like, ooh, well, it looks great. It, this is a terraformed planet. And then obviously there's just fucking killer bad, spiders. Bad, bad times. Bad times. Oh, yeah, shit, man. I might, I might check that out then. I'm looking for like something else to read. Oh, they look cute. <laughs> like they have little adventures. <laughs> oh, shooting star. And the speed rays start like creating their own religion and society and stuff. Yeah, this sounds cool. Okay. Half the book's written from the human colonist's perspective and the other half's written from the spider's perspective. That sounds... Yeah, I'm in. Um, no, no spoilers. I kind of, uh, I'd, I'd read this. Hmm. Also, is it part of like a mega series? I don't know. Um, can have a look. I think there's maybe one sequel to it. Like the book only came out a couple of years ago, so if uh, it is part okay. of a series. It's not written yet. Oh no, 2015 apparently. Um. I don't think it's part of a thing. No, there's no like other books on here. Other looks about. I don't want to spoil anything. How um are all the spiders' names? You know, just like oh, kisses, kisses. <laughs> <laughs> but just put a just put a few like <laughs> no. A few, I put a few of those Thankfully in there. Thankfully not. The spiders can't like speak verbally. They communicate through like vibrations through webs. So if we wanted to have a chat, I'd string up a web. We'd both touch it. And then we'd like play it like a banjo at each other to okay. communicate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's what a what a more like B B movie. Um, I feel like if that was written <laughs> by a regular Games Workshop thing, that's what they'd be called. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, okay. Right.